just been at the O2 for the Dave concert. It's a little bit different to where we are in 24 hours time at Selhurst Park. We've made it, I'm so buzzing. We're outside the away end at Selhurst Park. It's Crystal Palace versus Stoke City of the Championship. The winner tonight is one game away from Wembley and is in the FA Cup quarterfinals. Palace on a very, very rocky run of form in the Premier League. You never know what to expect from them. They're hot and cold, Patrick Vieira's men. As for the Potters, bringing over 1,200, 300 supporters down from up north tonight in that Arthur Waite stand. They'll be absolutely buzzing. Although they're on an awful, awful run of form in the championship at the moment, their manager, Michael O'Neill, divides opinions within the fan base. Should they lose tonight? Could that be the end of the road for him? I don't know why. I've got a slight feeling Stoke could cause a giant killing today. My brain says 2-0 Palace. John philippe Mateta to get the goals. But I'm going to go for it. I'm going to say... Crystal Palace won, Stoke two after extra time and the Potters will be one game away from Wembley. Palace fans not happy with that, they just heard that. Without further ado, let's get down into that away end. I'm absolutely buzzing for this, it should be top notch. Right, listen to the click of the turnstiles, pan it back. We are in the away end. Right, pint of Carlsberg, Essie. Stoke fan, get it down you. It's fucking lovely. Come on to Stoke. Uh, out of 10, out of 10, what are we saying? Lewis Baker out of 10. <laughs> We've made it in to the Stoke away end at Selhurst Park. Eddie, score predictions tonight. is sat on the bench tonight so who knows maybe nick and nil nil at half time michael o'neill will look to bring on some reinforcements at half time to change up the game but for now with 10 minutes before kickoff palace fans are fanatic over there before we begin before we kick off i just want to make something very clear to the palace fans i have absolutely nothing against your club Although I'm an infamous face against your club on YouTube, nothing against it whatsoever. I just always end up in the opposition end. Stoke end, livening up. We're very, very close to getting underway. There's about 500 people in. It's brilliant. Absolutely bloody brilliant. inside 20 minutes not many chances but they're attacking and defending very very well it's a lot better than i expected from them excellent away end atmosphere tonight here comes michael elise we know how dangerous he can be but the stoke city defense is too resolute joe allen 
Sneak peek of Craig Dawson in the Stoke away end. There we go. Is that Craig Dawson, the West Ham centre back? I'm not sure, but it is half time at Selhurst Park. Goalless, awful, awful game of football, but nonetheless, the atmosphere in this away end has been top, top quality. So, fair play to the Stoke fans. It's a long journey down on the Tuesday night in the Cup. We goalless at half time, and honestly, I would say. Stoke have been the better side. No bias in there whatsoever. Bring on the second half. Half-time pint. Best action of the game so far. What's it getting? What's it Solid getting? eight out of ten. Lovely little call. Love it. Best action of the half. Shout out to Joe B. Fucking legend. Legend of a Stoke fan, but what a terrible, terrible half that was. Wasn't it a great half? How's it ending? How's it ending? It'll definitely suit the Stoke fans. For sure. But how's it ending? I'm gonna say nil-nil. See extra time. Come on, Stoke. One nil Stoke. Could it happen? So we're in the Stoke away and at Palace. We're joined by four Brighton fans: James, Nils, Vincent, and Zach. What are fucking out What we thinking? What's it? How's this one ending? How's it? Stoke are dominating. Two 0 Stoke. I'm going for it. Tyrese Campbell on the bench, the big striker. You know what's happening? It's going to penalties. Stoke win on penalties. Imagine Zaha fucking Zaha missing. Say that again. Say that again. 21. 20 Imagine <laughs> the scenes. Second half is coming. But remember, the big man, Tyrese Campbell. Josh Madger is scoring. He's on Sunday to our die march. You heard it here first. Heard it here first. Wow. Ex Stoke keeper, Jack Butlin, getting it from the away fans. Bastard. Ah. Ex Stoke keeper. Wow. Controversial. Second half is underway. Can Stoke do it? Palace take the lead. Absolute limbs, limbs over there. Look at that, look at that. Wow. Carnage. Hope no one gets hurt. Genuinely. Rest in peace. To every Palace fan there. But they do take the lead through Cheku Kuyate. I think it was Cheku Kuyate. Straight into the top corner after absolutely terrible defending from a Stoke corner. But Palace won. Yeah, Sheku Kuyate makes it 1 0 to the Eagles. Look at the scene in the White Horse Lane stand. Unfortunately, Stoke for 1 0 down. Oh, oh, look at this teaser. He loves it. But the Palace. Holmesdale Fanatics bouncing like mad. Go on! Here's Josh Marger. Oh, shooting chance. Oh, oh come on! Go on! The number of the Reds go marching. Over the Reds go marching. Over the Reds go marching. I wanna be. The result. From singing. No! I've made it one all! Come on! Oh my god! Come on! Absolute scenes! Look at that! Unlucky Palace! It's one all! It's one all! I don't bloody believe it! Down shutter! Sit down shutter! Incredible! Sit down shutter! Absolutely! Incredible! Sit down shutter! Sit down shutter! Sit down Incredible. Stoke are 
level. Me. I have no words to describe those limbs and that Delilah sung after that. Incredible. Josh Timmon, Josh Timmon pulls Stoke level just before the hour mark and it's so well deserved. It was a scrappy old goal. But none of these lot could give. It's one all. Unbelievable. Simply incredible. I'm not going to lie, before tonight, I thought Stoke fans were average. They are absolutely incredible. Oh my God! Oh! Look how close! Look how close Stoke have come! Ten minutes to go! Then it's extra time! Palace score late on 2-1. Gyro Riedeveld. I think he's just sent Crystal Palace into the quarterfinals of the FA Cup. It's late heartbreak for Stoke. Five minutes of added time for Stoke to get an equaliser. Is it going to happen? Sound lads, Stoke fans, take a bloody bow. What a shame that was. Palace are in the quarterfinals of the FA Cup, but Stoke are the winners off the pitch for sure tonight. What an incredible fan base, and what an experience that was in this Stoke away end. Jack Butler, ex Stoke keeper, fans. What an amazing. Amazing away and atmosphere that was and what a night it's been. Thank you ever so much for watching. We'll see you on Saturday for some more.